remember what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? According to CNN, the governor of West Virginia, ironically named Jim Justice, has announced that each and every police cadet in West Virginia Division of Corrections and Rehabilitation Basic Training Class 18 will be fired for raising their arms in a Nazi salute for a class photo. You heard right, family. An entire class of correctional officers throwing up their sets. It makes you think about all of those inmates who are disproportionately black and brown, who are under the supervision of those type of people. It makes you think of all of the staff members and administration who have legal authority over those inmates who are disproportionately black and brown. They're coming in day one with a chip on their shoulder in charge of people who they hate. Think about what I'm saying, family. This is why you don't get rehabilitation in prisons across America. You get people who come out oftentimes angrier than they were before they went in because they're going into a culture that is built on disrespect, violence. This is encouraged by COs. See, because if they just go and just do their job, for many people that work as COs and stuff, it's pretty much a boring job. You're just basically babysitting people, you know, and you know, it's just like when you go to a, an elementary school or something and all the kids gotta be in a line and you know, you have teacher monitors and stuff like that, making sure everybody's in line, nobody gets misplaced, they're always doing a head count. It's like that to an extent, but you're dealing with grown men and, you know, oftentimes who are uh, restrained. So these dudes, these racists, these members of the Klan and white supremacists and all these type of people, these people who subscribe to uh, uh, these type of uh, websites that promote violence against uh, blacks and, and uh, Jews and homosexuals and just anybody that ain't white. And sometimes if you're white, you know, if, especially if, you, if you're one of those type of white people that's trying to be righteous, then they'll come for you too. So these are the type of people. And you can best believe this ain't the first graduating class where every single one of them raised their hands. This, to me, sounds like a tradition. This ain't the first time. They're comfortable doing it. Why? Because leadership starts at the top. Their superiors have told them it's cool. This is not just these cadets. Those correctional officers, they are a microcosm of society. Imagine how many white supremacists, how many people who have anti-Semitic ideologies, who are lurking in the shadows, causing harm to people every day, discriminating against people every day, who they have authority over or some type of control over. Imagine how many of them are out there, even your next door neighbor, 
Some of you have co-workers that you sit down and sometimes you eat lunch and dinner with. And they're no different. A lot of times it just, it's, it's, it's a game to them. It's funny to them that they could sit down and, and you thinking that they really are your friend. And you sit up there t telling them all your business. They could be plotting to murder you. This is how sneaky and conniving these people are. Imagine how many of them are out there going undetected. Cabinet Secretary for the Department of Military Affairs and Public Safety, Jeff Sandy, recommended the firing while noting that some cadets were aware that the photo would get them in trouble, but they went along to get along out of fear of not graduating. Let that sink in, family. Cadets who were about to swear to serve and protect all citizens were afraid that they wouldn't be allowed to if they didn't adhere to racist and anti-Semitic behavior. And these are the people who we're supposed to respect. These are the people who have the authority to take life with impunity. Let that sink in. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.